Hey, welcome to the 12 Tips of Christmas. I'm Patrick, I'm the lead editor and producer here at LumaForge, and today we have with us Valentina V. Hello, Patrick. Hey, how you doing? I'm wonderful. Valentina is a filmmaker here in Los Angeles. She's worked with brands like Adobe, Nike, and the Discovery Channel, and she has a tip for us about working with effects-heavy projects. Here's a tip uh, a lot of people don't know about. When you have a lot of effects stacked onto a clip in your project and you're trying to render that out, uh, there's a huge difference in the time that that render will take depending on where exactly each effect is placed on the effect stack. Did you know that, Patrick? I did not know that. So how does that affect me if I've got stuff like optical flow or stabilization? or uh, noise reduction, yeah. I mean, those are really uh, heavy effects. Those take a lot of processing power. And what you wanna do is make sure that those effects are placed closer to the original clip. What happens when an NLE renders an effects stack is it starts with the innermost and then goes to the outermost effect. So if you have something powerful like noise reduction happening at the very end of your effects stack and you have other things like color correction, uh, masking happening before it, it has to go through those other effects first for every single frame in order to access the original footage and then come back out, go back through and come back out. If I understand, if I'm in a scenario where I've got some really heavy effects and then some lighter effects like maybe some color correction or uh, maybe I'm doing some masking or something like that, all I have to make sure is that I, I put the heavy effects first in my stack and that I put the lighter effects later and that way I'm not having to go through that entire stack to get the, the information that the heavier effects need to be able to process, is that right? That's right, and you'd be surprised by how much faster that render goes. Um, sometimes it's something that would have taken me all night when I learned about effect stacking and the order of things, it could take, you know, an hour. Oh. That's like a pretty big difference. Yeah. And something else that I think is interesting is like in After Effects and in, in Resolve, there are some options where you can actually like do a pre-render or like a cache of some of those effects too. Yeah. Um, so like in, in Resolve, if you're doing a noise reduction effect in the studio version, you can do that in like your first node and then any color grading and secondary uh, grading and, and film grain and that sort of thing that you do later. Um, That's pretty awesome because yeah. ideally you don't want to be, you know, exporting sections of your video that have those, those very uh, tough effects on there, right. and then baking that in and then putting the lighter effects on. You, you sort of want to always have it manageable and edit non-destructively, right. so it's yeah. a great way to do it. Absolutely. Very cool. Thank you so much for that tip, Valentina. Well, thanks, Patrick. Absolutely. If you have any questions about effects stacking, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share. It really helps us out. We really do appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching.